Today I've got a handful of new parts that I'll be installing on my Traxxas TRX4 Chevy Blazer. Before we put the new stuff on, I'm going to try and revive the original bumpers by giving them a fresh paint job. I'd say it turned out pretty nicely. They're not quite as shiny as the original chrome was, but it looks better than being all scratched up. I also decided to remove the film that was originally over the windows. It was getting all scratched up and really did not look very good anymore. I think it looks much better just seeing right through the Lexan body. We'll see how long it takes before the actual body gets scratched now. Next I'll be installing some brass C-hubs from Injora. These will add 64 grams of weight total and it'll be nice and down low and right up front. I went with just the C-hubs instead of the full portal covers just to keep the load on my servo down because I did not want to burn up that reef servo. The install was very, very simple, just a direct replacement of the stock C-hubs. For 20 bucks, I think they're a pretty solid upgrade, really easy to bolt on, and they should add a decent amount of performance to this truck. The brass went on super smoothly, actually. Um, looks pretty, pretty much stock on there. That's why I went with the black brass, just so that it wasn't obvious that there's brass on there. I don't know how fast that paint will wear off. They left like the machining on there, which I do like, but I don't know if it'll eventually just scratch off to become more of a brassy look. But yeah, went on really smoothly and I'm pretty happy about that. Now I'm going to install some scale wheel hubs from G-Bank. So this piece is essentially replacing the uh, lock nut. And then once we put those on, the cap screw on on top of them and give it a nice scale appearance. Just slide on these O-rings onto the nuts so that the cap stay in place. Pretty simple stuff. Just a matter of finagling. And since the T-Rex 4 axle stubs are quite long, you need to add some washers in between the lock nut and the wheel just to space them out enough. After you get the proper amount of washers on for your truck you just tighten down the nuts with the included L wrench and then you can screw on the cap. And for the final part I'll be installing a new grill. The old one was getting quite scratched up and I wanted it to look fresh because we're heading out to Maine for family vacation and I'm hoping to do some crawling. This drops right in place and replaces the old one. Simple as that. There's this new line back on the backyard course that I've been working on. I really didn't expect it to crawl up it, but it actually surprised me and walked right up it. This is honestly a pretty tough line, kind of loose sand with a little bit of rock, and this thing hooked right up. I think the tires are starting to break in, and that extra brass up front really helps out. Here's one little clip from our trip. This line doesn't look quite as difficult on camera. But in person, there's a lot of different gaps that you can fall off into, and the rocks are quite slick. This thing hooked right up and pretty much just walked right up this as well, so the Blazer's turned into a pretty decent performer. But anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, leave me a comment down below. I like to show the progress and the different parts I'm adding to the trucks, but um, I don't know if the videos are really that entertaining. Let me know in the comment below what you think. Stay tuned for more crawling videos from Maine, and um, I'll catch you next time. See ya.